Hi everyone, in this lecture we'll study Sujano class of fuzzy complement. Moreover, we'll solve few examples to find Sujano complement both for discrete and continuous fuzzy sets. Class of complement function is defined as it's a function C lambda from 0 1 to 0 1 where C lambda takes this membership grade by x to 1 minus mu a x upon 1 plus lambda mu a x where this lambda should be greater than minus 1. So this is how Sujano defined complement function. So let us see whether this function satisfies the property of a complement, axioms of the complements or not which we discussed in the last lecture. So let us check the axioms. Axiom number one was it has to be monotonic. That is basically monotonically decreasing. So if we let C lambda of mu ax greater than or equal to C lambda mu a say y then just write the definition which is here we are writing the definition as it is so it is 1 minus mu a x 1 plus lambda it should be greater than or equal to 1 minus mu a y mu a y right so let us do the cross multiplication and solve it. So we have 1 minus mu x 1 plus lambda mu a y should be greater than or equal to 1 minus mu y multiplied by 1 plus lambda mu a x. On solving further, we get mu a by 1 plus lambda greater than or equal to mu a x 1 plus lambda and hence from here we conclude that mu a y is greater than or equal to mu a x hence we got our condition of monotonic First axiom satisfied. Let us move on to axiom number two, and which says the boundary condition. Let us check the boundary condition. Let our mu x boundary condition basically says at zero complement should be one, and at one the complement has to be zero. So complement of mu a x is one minus mu a x. So I am writing zero upon 1 plus lambda times mu a so lambda times 0 we are getting 1 yes it is satisfied next one let mu a x is equal to 1 so c complement of this membership grade is 1 minus in place of mu a x i am writing 1 and then 1 plus lambda into 1 so obviously this is coming out to be 0 boundary condition satisfied Okay, so both axiom 1 and axiom 2 are satisfied, that is, boundary condition is also satisfied. Then we can say that it's a complement function because it satisfies the axiomatic character. So, apart from these two, there are two more. Let us check that two also. So, third one is continuity. So, if you see this function as students. If you can see this function as y is equal to 1 minus x upon 1 plus lambda x. So this is a polynomial function, this one also. So that is why this being a composition of com continuous function, a continuous function. So it is a composition or composite of continuous function. So that is why it is continuous.
so if you see the last and property number 4 uh, axiom number 4 students first two axiom are sufficient to show that it satisfies the axiomatic skeleton of fuzzy complement and so it is a fuzzy complement so geno class is a fuzzy complement now we are checking axiom 4 that is involutive property also so uh, what does the involutive property says it says that c lambda c lambda of mu a x should be coming out to be mu a x this should be holding so let us start doing it so i written quickly c lambda of mu x now i am again applying the complement function to this we get 1 minus within bracket 1 minus mu a x upon 1 plus lambda mu a x similarly in the denominator also i am going to put c lambda mu a x and its value is 1 minus mu a x upon 1 plus lambda mu a x so once you solve this you will get the value as mu a x and hence it is involutive also so this sujano's class of fuzzy complement satisfies all the axioms both the skeleton structure and rest to also now we'll move to few of the examples let us understand this with the help of example so let us consider an example and the example is let a be a fuzzy set let us define this a as a is equal to it takes membership grade say 1 at 1 and it takes membership value say 0.5 at 2 it takes value 0.6 at 3 and 0.4 at 4 our universal set is defined to be 1 2 3 and 4 okay so we have to find sujano's complement For for lambda is equal to minus zero point eight zero one and two. Lambda is equal to point eight. Uh, the complement function will be this. And so let us find the complement. So a complement for this particular a. The complement will be. It is one minus zero point one upon one minus zero point eight multiplied by zero point one. This will be the membership grade at one plus one minus zero point five upon one minus zero point eight multiplied by zero point five at two plus one minus zero point six one plus minus zero point. Eight into zero point six divided by three, and next is one minus zero point four, one minus zero point eight into zero point four, at say four. And once you calculate it, you will get it at zero point nine seven eight two at one. Zero point five two zero at two, zero point eight three three at three, and zero point eight eight two at four. Let us see the graphical representation of this. So this is our x. This is our y. This represents the membership grade. Let us plot a here, and then we'll plot the complement as per Sujano's. Class, so this is our membership grade. Let us plot a. So this is our a at zero point one. It takes value one, zero point one. So we have four points here: one, two, three, four; one, two, three, and four. And let us plot this as zero point two, four, six, eight. And let it be one. So it takes only zero point one at one. 
So we can write, take this as this one. So this and add two is taking value 0 0.5, 0 0.6 and 0 0.4. And we have 0 0.5 here. 0 0.5. And then we have 0 0.6 and 0 0.4, 0 0.4, a little above this. This is 0 0.6 and then comes 0.4. So this is our A. Now we are plotting A complement, which we get. So again, 1, 2, 3 and 4, 0 0.2, 4, 6, 8 and one okay so this is 0 0.9782 we can take it here somewhere here 0 0.9782 see the complement of one then 0 0.5 t0 0 0.5 so we can take it here and then 0 0.833 somewhere here 0 0.882 little above this okay so you can see the sujano complement we calculated and students this complement is for lambda is equal to minus 0 0.8 so if you see the question it asks you to find for lambda is equal to minus 0 0.8 at 0 at 1 at 2 let us move to lambda is equal to 0 so when lambda is equal to 0 this complement function will convert to will uh, become the standard complement function because c lambda mu a x is equal to 1 minus the membership grade upon 1 plus lambda the membership grade so obviously when lambda is equal to 0 what does this mean this will become the standard complement function which we discussed in the last lecture so what all we have to do the complement in this case will be a is 0 0.9 at 1 b 0 0.5 at 2 c 0 0.4 at 3 and last one 0 0.6 at 4 you can see our a was this okay so if you plot this so if you plot this one two It will come out, come out to be here somewhere 0 0.9 and then 0 0.5 here and then 0 0.4 here and then 0. Point, this is complement students 0 0.6 so it is 0 0.6 so you can see the complement in this case and the complement this one similarly next will be to find for lambda is equal to similarly students will find for lambda is equal to 1 and lambda is equal to 2 as it is required in this question for lambda is equal to 0.8 0 and 1 2 will find for lambda is equal to 1 and lambda is equal to 2 so what is the purpose for doing all this just to understand how this sujano class behaves let us see that so if we plot here the membership grades and on this side the complements of this so if this is say one and this is also one for lambda is equal to zero this sujano complement is same as our standard complement so for lambda is equal to zero we'll get this 
therefore lambda is equal to minus 0 0.8 we'll get the graph something like maybe this lambda is equal to minus 0 0.8 as lambda is positive say lambda is equal to 1 or 2 this will become like say for 1 it's like this no it's not a straight line so let us rub this okay so it will be like this similarly for lambda is equal to 2 it will be so this one is for lambda is equal to 2 and this one is for lambda is equal to 1 but what does this represents this represents the more lambda is positive the graph will be towards here so this is what this complement function suggests so uh, in the first example we took a discrete example now we'll be taking a continuous example that is a continuous membership grade so let us move to a continuous membership grade now we are considering this triangular fuzzy set where the vertices are 1 2 and 3 the set is named as a we have to find sujeno's class of complement for this fuzzy set a where lambda for all for lambda 0.8 also point 0 also 1 and 2 also so let's first uh, represent this fuzzy set a so we are taking 1 2 and 3 maybe 1 and here this so let us take this as 1 and this one as 2 and this one is 3. This is a fuzzy set. Now we have to find the sujeno complement of this. So for lambda is equal to 0 0.8, when we plot, uh, uh, we'll take 1, 1 point and plot it. This is obviously 1. We'll get this as something like, So this is our one, this is y, this is x. Obviously, this is membership, this represents membership grade. It will come out to be and then straight. Students, you have to, you have to plot this and check. So this will come out to be like this for point eight. For lambda is equal to uh, zero. This we had already discussed in the previous lectures. This is standard complement. How does the standard complement work? Wherever the function is 0, it takes 1. If it is 1, it takes 0. If it is 0.4, it will take 0.6. So, so in this case, it is till 1, it take value 1. It will take value, this is 1. And after this, it will take value this so this is our two and then we have this three and then oh. so yes this is for lambda is equal to zero so further you have to uh what uh, students what do you have to you have to you have to just plot the membership grades check for a few points and then you will get the values similarly for lambda is equal to one It will be a little more concave. If you are unable to plot, you may always ask in the comment. So this will be more like a this. No, this is not. Yes. And yes. for lambda is equal to 2, the complement will be. It will be like this so th these will be the difference this one is minus 0.8 see it is minus 0.8 so that is why it is like this for lambda is equal to 0 lambda is equal to 1 and lambda is equal to 2 so these will these are the differences so students if you want to understand this let us understand it again how to plot it you can always write see this is c lambda of mu a x is equal to 1 minus mu a x upon 1 plus lambda mu a x. This was the formula.
So for lambda, say for lambda is equal to zero, this will convert to y. I'm taking this c lambda as say y is equal to one minus x. I'm taking this x as this, as this, just to make you understand the line, the lines will be like this. Or more accurately, I'll write mu a x is equal to 1 minus mu a x. You have to plot this. You will get the answer. Similarly, in the very first case, this will be c lambda mu a x is equal to 1 minus mu a x upon 1 minus 0 0.8 mu a x. You have to plot this curve. Similarly, in this case, if you come to third one, this will be c lambda mu a x is equal to 1 minus mu a x upon 1 plus mu a x. Can you visualize this using this y is equal to 1 minus x upon 1 plus x? Then it will be easier for you. Now, for the next one, this will be c lambda mu a x is equal to 1 minus mu a x upon 1 plus 2 times mu a x. So this is how we draw the graph. This is obviously x axis, y axis. This represents the membership values. This again represent membership value. So okay students, this is all from my side. If you have any query, still any question left, you can write in the comments.